Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In fact, we've had a lot of episodes of Ask Dave over the past several years, and I think this is getting real close to the thousandth. And so we'll be into the four digits very quickly. This question comes from Tom Lish, N6AJR, and he says, Hi Dave, I really enjoy your show as always. My question today is I want to power an ALS 500 amplifier which draws about 80 amps. And I want to parallel two Astron SS50 power supplies to get enough current to operate this. Can I do this and be okay? Any tips? Thanks. From Tom. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. This is the same amplifier that he has. This right up here, which seems bigger than the amplifier itself, is the power supply for it. And the power supply, when you turn this thing on, you should get a light in there somewhere. This is the Ameritron ALS500M. The M stands for mobile. It is designed to run off your car battery with very thick welding cable type, type cables to get because this is a 12 volt a lot of the newer transistor amplifiers are 50 volt so that the cables don't have to be so thick you can see that i have multiple cables coming from here to power the two sides there's four output transistors this is the recommended power supply 75 amps mfj 4275 mv it's for this right down here. The meter stands for it has meters. The voltage stands for you can vary the supply voltage in there. And actually, after a careful reading of the instructions, I run it around uh, 16 volts. Okay. So you can got other ways to take voltage out, but this is the only one where you can take the full 75 amps out. This claims it needs 80 amps. Now, if you want to parallel two power supplies to provide more current, in theory you can do that. In practice, it's not a good idea. I'll tell you why. There will be a fraction of a volt difference between the two power supplies. And if you connect them together, the higher power supply will cause the lower voltage one to go, oh, I'm supplying too much voltage. It'll actually go perhaps all the way to shut down. Okay. And that is because they're very, they, they check via the, the voltage what they do. Now the way around that is to put a resistor in series with each of the power supplies. A very small resistance. But that resistor's got to handle 50 amps. Okay, good luck finding uh, one of those. It'd be very difficult. By the time you get all that to work, you'll find out why we normally use a power supply that's matched to the uh, amplifier. So no, I would not recommend putting two, it's like putting two batteries in parallel. They're going to equalize the voltage and the weaker battery may drop out and not carry much of the load, okay, unless you occasionally do what's called equalize the batteries, where, uh, and that only works with flooded lead acid. So I would recommend that you go ahead and get the MFJ. Uh, it's also got an Ameritron branding. This one is MFJ branded. This thing was, uh, cost me more than this thing did. This I got uh, from a friend. Um, this is a very old version of it, but it still works fine. This actually cost me a little more than I paid for that. My wife bought me this for my birthday several years ago. But the amplifier works beautifully. It's basically foolproof. Um, notice how thick these wires have to be to get back there to the back of the amplifier where the power goes in. I wish the power came off the back uh, 
of the power supply, but it doesn't. Okay? So, um, I think I've answered your question. I actually would recommend against it. I mean, you may try it and find that it works, but you may also try it and find that suddenly one day one of the power supplies doesn't work. So, um, it could blow a fuse, you know, all of these different kinds of things to do that. Uh, note that this is a 500 watt amplifier, so it's going to draw closer to 1,000 amps because it is a linear power or a linear amplifier close to a thousand watts that will be eight or nine amps out of the wall outlet it'd be nice if you could put this on its own wall outlet that's not always possible i don't do it but this you got to remember uh is a big hunk of power going into here Okay, nothing to play with, don't use undersized cables, and so on. So there you have it, some thoughts on paralleling power supplies and where that could lead to problems, because you've got two voltage control loops that are kind of uh, working against each other and could be a problem. Um, this readily, the bigger power supplies <coughs> are readily available and the ALS 500 m amplifier is a great amplifier but because it's intended for mobile use it does not use 50 volts it just uses 12.8 uh, actually 16 is a little closer to it because car uh, engines can put out voltages up to that high so that's why the amplifier is built for it okay so um one thing I want to mention to folks is we do still have that uh, thumb drive uh, offer. This is a thumb drive that is available if you go to my website at decastler.com and look at the very top where it has the menu. There will be one for getting these little uh, videos that have uh, the best of videos. This particular thumb drive which sells for $29.95 in the U.S., postpaid to anywhere in the U.S., okay, um, contains my 10 most popular videos. These can be used for things like shows or uh, programs at ham clubs or whatever you may do, okay? So, there you go. And until we next meet, 73.